TNM classification of laryngeal cancer as given by AJCC 2002 that is the American Joint Committee on Cancer this classification is all TNM stands for T is the size of the tumor or extent of the tumor N is the lymph nodes involved M is whether metastasis and this determines the extent of the tumor there is a spread of the tumor and another part of this classification is the histopathological grading that is based on the differentiation of the cells of this tumor which can be obtained by the biopsy on histopathological view if it is normal it is determined by the size of the nucleus and the amount of cytoplasm and in case of poorly differentiated cells the nucleus is large and the cytoplasm is scanty and in in between grade is the moderately differentiated so grading is given as grade 1 for well differentiated grade 2 for moderately differentiated and 3 for poorly differentiated so tnm m stands for the metastasis if it is present then we given as m1 and if it is absent it is m0 and if we don't know it is mx and n is the involvement of the lymph nodes so if the tumor is present on one side so the same side is known as the ipsilateral and the opposite side is known as the contralateral no means no involvement n1 n2 n3 is based upon the centimeters from which of the in lymph nodes involved from the tumor n2 is divided into a b c n a means N2A means single ipsilateral, N2B means multiple ipsilateral lymph nodes involved, N2C is contralateral or bilateral lymph nodes involved, NX means the it cannot be assessed, the lymph node involvement cannot be assessed or found out. T stands for the tumor size, that is the sites involved. In case of a laryngeal tumor, let's see what are the sites. Before that, we will understand, see about the anatomy. This is arytenoid and cricoid cartilage. and this is the thyroid cartilage which overlaps the arytenoid cartilage if you see this is the front view so this is the true vocal cords true vocal ligament and this part is the false vocal ligament both are attached to the thyroid cartilage this is the crico vocal membrane and membrane to the false vocal cord that is the quadrangular membrane so we will see this diagram in 2d this is the thyroid and cricoid cartilage and this is the true vocal ligament and the false vocal ligament this is the crico vocal membrane and the quadrangular membrane so the inner part is lined by an mucous membrane this part involving the vocal membrane is the glottis and below it is sub or sub intraglottis and above is supraglottis glottis is of about 1 meter 1 cm in width so supraglottis involves the epiglottis or epiglottic fold and arytenoid cartilage the glottis involves vocal folds and anterior and posterior commissures intraglottis extends up to the cricoid cartilage these are called as a subsites so in case of a supraglottic tumor t1 stands for only one subsite is involved t2 means other subsites or other parts of the larynx that is the glottis or the intraglottis are involved t3 means the tumor is within the larynx but however the vocal cords are fixated fixated means the cords cannot move or vibrate properly this is because of the tumor and t4 means the tumor has spread outside the larynx um it can be either to the surrounding tissues that is the thyroid thyroid cartilage tongue or to the muscles that is the strap muscles present around the larynx or t4 v means to the prevertebral spaces or the carotid artery if the tumor is present in the glottis then t1 means vocal cords are all on a means one vocal cord t1 b means both vocal cords are involved t2 means 
it is extend to intra or supraglottis t3 means it is limited to the larynx and the vocal cords are fixated same as for the so in case of an intraglottis tumor t1 stands means it is limited to the intraglottis t2 means it has spread to the supra or glottis or glottis and t3 is the same t3 t4 definitions are the same so based on this t we can class t and m we can stage the tumor into t0 stage 0 means the tumor is in situ stage 1 means 1 and 2 means t1 1 and 2 respectively and n is 0 in stage 3 four, stage 4 can be divided into a b c in stage 3 the n is 0 t is 3 or n is 2 or 1 where the n is 1 in case of stage 4 the n is 0 or 1 and the stage t is 4a or n is 2 and t can be either 1 2 or 3 in case of stage 4b the n2 and t4a or n is 1 2 3 and t is 4b in case of 4c it can be any whereas the metastasis is present that is m1 the staging is used for uh, treatment plan thanks for watching